Hey, hey happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday, guys, Woo. and welcome to another fun day Friday here at the Worldwide Headquarters for Rec Tech. Man, we got steak a couple of different ways, and we're, we're talking all about steak today. It's Make sure you stay that. tuned. Hey, what's your name, big guy? I am Chef John, Culinary Innovation Specialist here at RecTech. What about you? Hey, my name is Jody, and thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We really do appreciate it. Yeah. Um, make sure you smash that share button. We'll give you three seconds to do it. Count them down, big John. Three, two, one. Smash it! Thank you guys so much. That's right. We John, get paid by the share. We do get paid by the share, That's and share. we can't give something away until we get 100 likes. Yeah, so like it up, everybody. Like right. it up, because we want to give stuff away. We That's really right. Do. We've got a winner to announce from last week, so make sure you stay tuned, because it could be you. That's right. We want to give a quick shout out to our counterpart, though, Chef Greg, who was out in Lehigh uh, teaching that. Where's Lehigh at? Lehigh, Utah, oh. for all of you who are uninitiated. Uh, we have a new, well, new to us, uh, uh, a little grill, shipping, receiving, selling. <laughs> That's where you want to be if you're in Utah. But definitely That's go, our mountain headquarters. Yeah, go say hey to Chef Greg. He's out there teaching the academy class. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, safe travels back, Chef Greg. We For love sure. you. We thank you. Uh, and if you don't know what we're talking about, make sure you sign up for the yeah. newsletter at yeah. rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. Uh, that way you know you can find out about Rectech Academy. Yes. You can find out about Ray's Club. A yeah. lot of folks are getting their boxes now. Yeah, they're shipping. As we speak right now, people right. they're being delivered to people's houses. We're super excited yep. about this. Yeah, y'all are going to love it. Yep, Absolutely yep, yep. love it. Uh, we're super excited about Ray's Club. So if you want to learn when we add more spots to Ray's Club, make sure you go ahead and sign up for that newsletter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's all about steaks today. So it's please bring steaks, your questions. Put them in the comment section. I'm yeah. about to bust my phone out and get to some of those questions. Make sure you let us know where you're watching from as well. But guys, put in the comment section what your favorite steak is. We would love to know. Uh, maybe it's a steak that we don't really aren't familiar with, and right. maybe it'll inspire us to cook something. I love that. That's right. What you got today, Chef John? Okay, so I'm going to take you guys back and do a little French Creole steak with you guys. We're going to be doing steak au pois. I'm going to show you how to do it in the patio legend. I'm going to be using a cast iron skillet. I'm always burning those Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets. What about you? Well, I got a couple questions for you before okay. we go to mine. Steak au pois. Yes. What does that mean? Uh, and cream sauce. Oh, That's steak right. with cream sauce. That's right. Very cool. And so this is French. It's French. What kind of steak you're going to be using today? New York strip. But you can do this with any steak that you guys like. Your Very favorite cool. steak, you can totally do this with. The only key to this is you want to make sure the steak is nice and thick. You want to have a nice steak. Thick Very stuff. cool. Yeah. Very cool. What about you? And I'll be doing uh, Oscar fillets today. Ooh. We're going to be cooking some fillet mignon and topping them with crab. That's what Oscar means. So if you if you want to do Oscar ribeyes, just top a ribeye with crab. It's called a, a, an Oscar steak. Um, but we're going to be using some delicious filet mignons. Those are cut from the beef tenderloin. Oh, okay. The most tender part of the cow. The second most part, tender part of the cow is going to be the flat iron steak. That's right. Chef John. That's Learned right. Learned that this, uh, this week uh, via YouTube. Yeah. And flat iron steak, the cool thing about flat iron steak, Jody, is it just started getting popular within mm -hmm. the last eight years. Yep. Before that, it was not a very popular no, steak. Nobody really knew about it. And you could get them super cheap, yep. like two ninety nine a pound. It was known uh, as a butcher's cut. That's exactly right, because the butcher knew about it. He would keep that for himself. But yeah, good, Shoot good, good top. Shoot All right, you. so you want to get, get us started off? You I can get it. us started because um, mine's super, super quick. Okay. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, we got to make our crab mixture, okay? That's the first thing we do because we need to get it refrigerated. We're going to refrigerate it to allow all of our flavors to get to know one another. So we're going to have about five ounces of lump crab meat right here. Now, crab meat is going to be pretty expensive for you, um, so you guys can substitute, you know, the cheaper crab meat if you'd like. Okay. Um, but, it's, but if you're doing steak, you, you want to use the good stuff, right, everybody? But keep the questions. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comment section down below. We're going to be using filet mignons. Yep. Daniel, you got a good question? Uh, I sure do. Is it better to cook a cold steak or one at room temperature? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, that's question. a very good question. So the question was, if you guys didn't hear, is it better to cook a cold steak or a steak at room temperature? So I like a steak that's had the, the cold kind of knocked off of it. Yes. I don't necessarily like to cook a room temperature steak, uh, but I do like the cold knocked off of it. So I will take it out of the refrigerator uh, and let it get room uh, close to room temp for about five to ten minutes yeah. before I cook it. Um, I'm going to season it. 
and then let it sit for about five to 10 minutes on my counter. Um, so that's uh, that time is gonna allow that steak uh, to get a little bit closer to room temperature, but I'm not gonna let it get to fully room temperature. Yeah. So we've broken up our crab meat here. That's the very first step, okay? It did come in, in giant clumps uh, because it was claw meat, but we're gonna break it up, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a teaspoon of lemon zest, okay? Now save this lemon because we're gonna need the juice for our hollandaise sauce in just a little bit. I love it. So we're gonna add about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of lemon zest, however you like it. I like it very zesty, so I'm gonna add a little bit more than most people would like. Okay. Now hollandaise sauce, Jody. Yes, sir. Is that, what kind of type of sauce is that? So a hollandaise sauce is gonna be a uh, butter and egg type of there sauce. What go. we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of the Ben's heifer dust available in that rub and sauce bundle and then a little bit of that Ron screaming pig to give it a little bit of color. I'm also gonna add a finely minced shallot about a okay. teaspoon to two teaspoons of that. Now that wasn't really a shallot. Right. That was actually a white onion. I did not have a shallot <laughs> here at the office so I just substituted a white I onion like but I made sure that I minced it up very very fine okay. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna mix all that stuff together and we're gonna put it in our refrigerator and let it get to know one another, okay? okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The next step is to get our hollandaise sauce ready, okay? I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. Now you're gonna need a blender or a robo coop. That's right, or food processor. To a food processor to mm -hmm. cut uh, our egg yolks in with our butter, okay? So we've got our food processor. We're gonna put the top on it, we're gonna make sure Okay, it's good to go, it's gonna work. They're asking who I'm chatting with. Michael Dean, I'm chatting with you guys out there. Yeah. That's right, I got all you guys right here asking your questions. Keep them coming. Shoot, yeah, now this recipe is gonna be available at rectech.com very soon. This is gonna be a little bit of an altered recipe. I usually use three yolks uh, in the recipe. I'm gonna use four yolks today. I usually do uh, two tablespoons okay. of lemon, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Today I'm gonna do uh, three tablespoons because okay. I just wanna make a little bit more. Now I'm also, take a little bit of that lemon zest right mm. there, baby. John, where are they watching from? Uh, they haven't said, but guys, put what in the comment section. Steaks? We would love to know where you're watching from. Shout out to the folks out there on YouTube. We appreciate you guys for watching as That's well. That's right. That's right. We're gonna add some pepper. Mm. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. I like it. We're gonna add a little bit of that Ron Screaming Pig rub, okay? Now we're gonna pulse this together, but we're not gonna fully, you know, get it going, okay? We're gonna so pulse just a it all together. Mix there, just just a doing. little bit of a mix here. Get on in here, Sherpa. Show the folks what it's gonna look like. We've got egg yolks and fresh lemon juice, mm. okay? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. Now I've got some melted butter. This is gonna be two sticks of melted butter. You need it to get to 185 degrees. That's key now. That's okay, key. 185 degrees. And we're just gonna pulse this slowly into I love it. our hollandaise. Okay? I love it, buddy. Now, Jerry, let me, let me ask you some of these questions they got coming yes, in. Yes, sir. All right, so they wanna know, uh, when you're sourcing your crab meat, where do you normally typically get crab meat from? Yeah, so, you know, if I'm, if I'm on vacation or near the ocean, yes, sir. I'm gonna try to source it locally. Okay. Um, but here, unfortunately, we're kind of landlocked uh, and we're gonna get it from our local grocery store. Uh, we have a great relationship with the folks over at Publix. That's right. And they really take care of us and they give us the freshest of the fresh. Uh, so that's really and truly where we get our stuff. Now, we're gonna process this for about one to three minutes until you get it, until it starts to really thicken up. I like it. Uh, and it's got, you know, like an off white color, off yellow color, that's okay? It. Get on here, Sherpa, and show these folks what this stuff is looking like. It's starting to get a little bit thicker. Well, let me show Ooh, you by dipping my finger That's in there. what I'm talking about. That's Look at that. That's about what we want it to be, okay? It's absolutely perfect, Jody. It didn't break okay. at all. I'm chef tasting it right now. I like it. It needs a little bit more salt. So I'm going to throw some more salt in there. This key, ladies and gentlemen, to cooking really good food is to taste as you go. And again, we're going to continue to pulse until this thickens up. All right, Jody, so Birmingham, Massachusetts, Aiken, Houston, Shoot, Pismo yeah. Beach, uh, McKenzie, what? Texas, St. Charles, Missouri, Syracuse, mm. New York, Gainesville, Florida. Oh, that They're good. coming in from all over, Idaho. Shoot, yeah, thank you guys for watching. We love y'all. All right, we're gonna put this in a separate dish, but we need to keep this warm. That's right. Okay, you need to keep this warm. There are raw eggs in there. Well, they've been cooked a little bit by that butter. Yeah. Um, and by the acid from the uh, lemon juice. That's right, sir. Very good point. But we need to keep that warm. So what I'm gonna do is, 
is a chef tip here at the Rectech family. That's right. We've got an show. RT-1250 show them now. running right behind Chef John. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bowl right there on that barrel. You guys see it sitting on the barrel and what that's going to do is going to keep my hollandaise sauce warm mm. for uh, and we're going to put it on our steaks in about 10 minutes, okay? Absolutely. The next step, I'm going to go ahead and season my filet mignons and get them going because Chef John's got a lot of stuff to do, okay? So these are about six ounce filet mignons. Those are going to be cut from the beef tenderloin, the most tender part of the cow. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's kind of expensive nowadays. So if you want filet mignons, ladies and gentlemen, and you have yourself you know, uh, a freezer, or if you're cooking for a lot of folks, I definitely suggest getting that tenderloin and cutting them yourself, breaking that tenderloin down. Chef John has done that on camera several times several for us. Times. So check out that, our YouTube channel. Shout out to the folks watching on YouTube and Facebook today. Season it with that Ben's heifer dust. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, paprika. That's what you want to season a steak with. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to taste that beef, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. We've got the uh, Road Warrior sitting over here at 475. It's had a cast iron skillet in it the whole time. I'm going to throw two tablespoons of butter on that bad boy. Oh, there you this go. thing is hot, 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 you son of a guns. Okay, get on over here, Sherpa, and check out this action that's going on right now. We're going to cook these steaks till internal temperature of about 130 to 135 degrees. Okay. okay. Check out our uh, steak graph right there, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you want to cook your steak. This is the temperature that you want to cook your steak to. Right here, just check it out. Make sure, go ahead and take a screenshot of it. Yeah. You want to save that, y'all. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, how do you like your steak, Chef John? Uh, medium rare, Jody. Okay, perfect. But these things are going to go in. So we're also cooking them from the bottom, but because of that convection current of a pellet grill, we're also cooking these from on top as well. That's right. Okay. Shoot, yeah, we're ready to go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We love that. Chef John, hopefully, yeah. yours will go a little bit quicker because that took a little bit longer than no, I thought no, it would. You did great, buddy. You did great. You were rushing a little bit. I think you did great. You killed it. Yeah. A lot of information. I'm actually Scotch and Irish. I'm not Russian. <laughs> a lot of information in there, though, but I absolutely love it. So, but before we go any further, guys, we need you to smash that share button. We'll give you three seconds to do it. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. We're going to go ahead and announce that winner. Okay, let's From do last it. week, we spun that Wheel of Rec Tech. Yes, sir. It landed on a apron Ooh, for the third week in a row, so we right. added a you pick seasoning that's to it. Right. This we asked the person to ask a question, and the question was, "Where would you put your new patio legend if you got one?" What they say, Jerry? This son of a gun said he'd put it right next to his fire ring. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Maybe a fire ring is his fire uh, pit. Yeah, fire pit. Fire, fire pit. Ring okay. is a type of fire pit. Okay, he's going to put it right next to his fire pit. So the winner of last week, now you have to DM us. Yeah. Direct message the Rectech Facebook page mm -hmm. to claim your prize. The winner from last week is Mr. Joel Blom. Hey. Joel B O B L O M. Joel Blom. Make sure you DM the Rectech Facebook page and we yeah. will confirm that it is you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, again, shout out to the folks on Facebook. Shout out to the folks on YouTube watching. We love you guys so much. Yeah, totally do. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into these au pois. So what you can, guys au pois. Can, you guys can see, I have some delicious looking New York strips here, right? Shout out to our local grocery store. Now, Chef, uh, when you're selecting steaks, yes. what are you looking for when you're selecting steaks at the grocery store? Uh, particularly, just really the marbling inside the steak. I want to make sure my steak's going to be nice and juicy okay. and not get dried out. And a, a definite way to ensure that is to make sure that your steak has a lot of good marbling in between. Intermuscular fat, right? That's right, that's right. Um, but ribeyes are really great for this recipe. Um, New York strips are really great. You could even do uh, fillets, but you want a nice, thick steak. That's gonna be key. So we're gonna be using the Ben's Heifer Dust Ooh. and the Chef Greg's Four Linen Rub. We're Shout gonna out. and give a generous amount of seasoning to these, right? Now guys, a little chef tip. When you're seasoning, you want to allow your seasoning to penetrate the whatever protein you're putting it on. Man, I can see you guys in the comment section. Thank you all so much. We really do appreciate it. Shout out Maryland. Uh, where, else? where are you guys watching from? What is your favorite cut of steak? Let us know in the comment right. section. All right, so we're gonna, uh, you wanna let these things rest for a minute after you season both sides, right? And that's really gonna ensure that the crust is gonna be nice and thick on there. Very we're cool. just gonna evenly spread Chef Greg's Ben's Heifer Dust, right? Yum. And then I have the patio legend set to 500 degrees. Now, when I turn my grill on, besides making sure that it was full of those Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets, I also made sure I put a cast iron skillet in there, right? Shoot, Let yeah. them both come up to temperature together. That's going to be key. Okay? All right, Sherpa, come on over. This is what we're going to do. Now that I know this thing is hot, we're going to go ahead. 
put one tab of butter. It's been about five-ish minutes for me. I just flip my steaks. One tab of butter in here. Right, oh. just to get that oil around. Shout out Rhett, Rhett from Lehigh, Utah. Rhett's one of our uh, associates out there running that Lehigh, Utah location. Shout out Rhett, we love you, brother. Yeah, we do. Miss you, man. All right, so in the steaks go, right? Nice and hot. Right? Looking absolutely perfect. Now I saw Chef John, you only put two of them in there. All right, so you don't want to crowd the pan. Nice. Right? You want to be able to allow this to do it, the pan to do its job. Uh, if you put too many in there, it's going to cool it down too quick and it's not going to have a chance to really put a sear on it. Now, Chef John, could we use um, the uh, Grill Great Searing Kit yes. available at Rectech.com? You totally could, but you're going to want to build the sauce and something. So really what we're trying to do is we're trying to get uh, a good sear on there and then Great. all that deliciousness that's in the pan is going to help us create a better sauce. All right, Savannah, Georgia, Yakima, Washington, Northeast Mississippi, that's Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Shout out everybody. Thank we love you you. Hickory, North Carolina. Courtney Schiffel out there. I love Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Courtney, how you doing? Shout out to you and your beautiful husband, Scott. Love that guy. Beautiful husband. <laughs> uh, Rhett's favorite cut is tri-tip. Randy likes some ribeye. Okay. Uh, Richard Webb is a Chuck I steak kind hey, of man. Hey, Richard. Thank you so much. So these are the rest of the ingredients we're going to need, guys, to make this sauce. So we got some heavy cream. I have some brandy right here. I have some beef base, Yum. which is just beef bouillon. We got a little bit more butter, peppercorns, okay, okay, okay. rosemary. Dijon mustard and a little bit of garlic paste, which is just ground up garlic, all right? Okay. All right, so we're gonna come back over here, flip these steaks. We're just gonna do about two minutes per side. Yum. Right? Oh, look at that. You can see that good caramelization on there, Sherp. That's exactly what we're looking for. See all the little bits down in here? That's what's gonna help create a delicious sauce. So we got about one and a half minutes on that side, and then we'll go ahead and start building the sauce. How are you looking over there, Jim? All right, so it's been about uh, six minutes. I just flipped them at five minutes. We're looking at an internal temperature of about 95 degrees right now, okay. Chef John. All right. So again, we're looking for an internal temperature of about 125, 130. That way when we take them off, they're yeah. able to rest and get to that 135 mark that I'm really looking for. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. We have some folks in the comment section wondering uh, why on the pan versus the grits? What's the preference? Well, for me, I'm um, using the pan because I'm building a sauce. So Absolutely. I want all the little bits to be trapped inside the pan. It's going to help give that sauce a lot more flavor. Yep. And I want a flat, consistent sear across my whole entire filet mignon. Uh, so that's why I'm going to be using the cast iron skillet today. Now, guys, you can, like we said earlier, use that grill grate searing kit as well. Use that flat side. Um, but again, Chef John is going to be building sauce in this pan, so we're going to need to it to have a little bit of lip so we can keep that sauce in there. For me, so, I really don't need it. I could have used the flat side of that grill grate um, because I want a flat, consistent sear across the whole bottom of my steak. All right, guys, so Ooh, I just look at all the, these look yeah, at all these bits, y'all. That's the good part right that's there. That's the good stuff so right I've there. So I've already pulled the steaks off. We got a little bit of residual goodness Ooh, in there. Now, you want to pull the pan off for this next step. We're going to put the brandy in here. Now, chef tip. Whenever you're adding any kind of alcohol to a hot pan, there is a chance for it to flame up. Okay, be careful, everybody. Now, I dated a girl named Brandy once. Oh, did you? Yep, yep, yep. And nice she girl. was into the liquor. <laughs> okay. All right, so see how hot this pan is? We really just want this uh, brandy to evaporate. We want to keep all the delicious uh, flavor and lose all of the alcohol. Shoot, all right? yeah. So once we get, see how it's pretty much dry at this point? Yum. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and add our heavy cream. Okay, okay, okay. And we're going to put about three or four cups of heavy cream in here. Yum. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and... Oh, man, and I wish you guys could smell this. Add our garlic paste. We're going to add our Dijon mustard, which is acting as, going to act as a binder, keep everything nice and together. And to add a little bit of bite, baby. Yeah. That beef base or beef bouillon. A little bit more butter. And then our peppercorns. Right? We're going to whisk this all up, and this is going back on the grill. We want this to simmer for until it reduces by about half, right? And then we're going to go ahead and put our steaks back into this sauce and finish cooking them up to temperature. So How I've delicious got, is that I've sound? got about five more minutes in my cook time, so I'm going to go ahead and add our crab mixture to our steak because we do want it to warm up. We do want it to have little crispy bits on the outside. Now, what I do is I like to put it 
get about two ounces, put it in my hand and compact it just a little bit and then smush it on there. But shout out to everybody watching. We love yeah, you guys. We appreciate it. We're about all to spin that wheel of Rec Tech and mm -hmm. give something away. Make sure you love this video. Now, a lot of folks like the Rec Tech page on yeah. social media, but we're going to need you guys to follow yeah. the Rec Tech page on social media. Yeah. Not just like it, yeah. we're paid by follows. Yeah. Call to action, everybody. Now, we don't really ask y'all ever to do too much. You know, maybe subscribe every once in a while, follow us, but we really need y'all to go to the Rec Tech Facebook page and give us a follow. We really right. appreciate it. Don't just like our, it. Yeah, our like it and follow it. it. Our bosses are tracking it, so help us look good by boosting those numbers up. We really appreciate you guys out there. All right, Jody, so how are you looking, bud? I'm looking great. Again, you got to wait about... Uh, when there's five minutes left in your cook, right. you take your crab mixture out of the refrigerator, okay. you put about two ounces in your hand, you compact it, and put it on the steak and let it warm up. Okay, okay? I like it. Now, I also like to serve uh, my filet mignon uh, with some asparagus. Ooh. So I've gone ahead and blanched this asparagus in some boiling water for a couple minutes, and then I threw it on the Rectech. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get some love for Jody's uh, asparagus here. Mr. Overachiever, I need some hearts and some likes. Yeah, that's right. I, I pulled a fast one on you, Chef Yeah, you did. So I'm just going to make a little bed, a, a little bed. And we're going to put our steak on top of that, and we're going to build our delicious Oscar filet, okay? Because, again, you eat with your eyes first. Definitely. Your food has to look beautiful. Has to look okay? beautiful. All right, so Julia, uh, Julia Morrison wants to know, will my sauce be on the website? You know it will be. I actually finished the recipe today, so we should be posting it next week. You're going to love this thing. It's going to be absolutely delicious. All right, Jody. So uh, we still need to spin the wheel, though, guys. We're going to be giving yes, something away. we got to get to 100 likes. Dan, how close are we? We're over 100 likes. All right. All right, guys, well, stay tuned. We're definitely going to be spinning that wheel. I'm going to go ahead and open my grill up, though, and take a peek in here, see how the sauce is doing. Get on in there, Sherpa. Oh, that's perfect. You can see how it's starting to bubble around the edges. And it's already thickened. It's already starting to get thickened. That's what we want, guys. It's turned that nice uh, beige color. I know that's going to be absolutely delicious. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take my steaks. And we're going to go right back in no, the sauce. No, you're not. Now, these steaks are rare. They're probably tipping out about 100 degrees, probably like 98 degrees. So we're going to take up, we're going to go right back in the sauce. Oh, yes. Right? Y'all make sure you smash the share button for throwing steaks in some delicious oh, sauce. Oh, watch out now. It'll get you. All right, so we're going to cook these. We're going to let these sit on one side for about five minutes. We're going to flip them over for about five more minutes. And then we're going to pull those bad boys mm. out, Jerry. Yum. So you're looking for an internal temperature, you said about 125. About 125. Sharp, if you want to, or Daniel, can y'all throw uh, up our steak uh, picture one more time yeah. to let the folks screenshot it. This is how you want to cook your steak, ladies and That's gentlemen. Right. If you want it, uh, these temperatures, this is, excuse me, the, but it's called a temp, right? Yeah, yeah these temps. These temps. Yeah. 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 You've got rare. You've got medium. That's it. You've got overcooked. That's right. You've you know. got shoe leather. Shoot, yeah. That's right. Shoot, yeah. Shoot All right, you. we're about at 115 degrees okay. on my grill, so it's really important to have yourself an instant yeah. read thermometer. We've got instant read thermometers available at rectech.com. Make sure you go and check those out. But it's yep. very important to have an instant read thermometer uh, to determine the internal temperature of this steak yep. because that's what we are shooting for. That's, that's exactly what we are right. cooking to. That's exactly okay? right. We're not cooking to a color. Mm -mm. We're not cooking to time. Nope. We are cooking to an internal temperature yep. today, ladies and gentlemen. And that way you're going to have consistency. You cook to an internal temperature, especially when you're dealing with steaks. It's going to, the steak's going to turn out this, the exact same every time. That's every right. time. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make you guys ha have consistency and elevate your grilling game. That's right. Let's and speaking about. of elevating your grilling game. Let's talk about the it. The bullseye, the RTB380, which we could have cooked these steaks amazingly on end, oh, yeah. is $100 off right now at rectech.com. Come on. Don't sleep on that sale, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, also, I want to remind everybody about We Cook Wednesdays. Y'all yeah. come out and see us and hang out with us. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to find out about anything about Rectech, about We Cook Wednesdays, academies, yeah. race club, anything, sign up for the newsletter at rectech.com. Go to R-E-C-T-E-Q.com and put your email in where it says sign up for the newsletter, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot go wrong, okay? Now, again, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to check the internal temperature of these steaks because, again, we do not want to overcook them, okay? Oh, Jody, that is looking they look great, don't delicious. They? Oh, we're perfect. 130. That one's a little over. Just under 130 right there. About oh, Jerry, 120 in that one. Jerry, let me ask you a question real quick. So I'm going to take our over possibly, one. Yes, sir. 
add shrimp to the crab and top it with both shrimp and crab? Yes, sir, absolutely. That would be a great idea. Um, whatever your heart's desire, That's you can most definitely about. do that. Uh, you could also, you know, mix in lob. If you wanted to, you could use like lobster meat, you know, or, uh, or um, if you've got some leftover crab, uh, snow crab or king crab That's would be amazing. So we're going to take a little bit of our hollandaise sauce. We'll just sprinkle over the top and we'll just let it drizzle on down mm. and get to know that delicious crab and that delicious steak and then say hello to our asparagus down below, okay? That is what I'm talking about, buddy. Throw a little bit of chives on top, some chives, and we're good to go. That looks absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. This is a great date night idea. Knocked that out of the park. Um, ladies love the tenderloin. Love I it. actually love the tenderloin because I can't eat a lot. You know, I'm right. not gonna eat a lot right. of steak, and, uh, and that filet mignon is absolutely the perfect size for me. Perfect size. All right, buddy. So you guys, you can see how it's starting to reduce. We've got the nice uh, little simmer going on in here. The patio legend is making short work Yum. out of these au steaks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Okay. Oh, you can leave that there. Thank you, Sherpa. So we're gonna go ahead and set this down. All right, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna finish these. We're gonna take the steak out with that delicious sauce, right? We're just gonna slice these up. Now, while we're slicing these, I just have two sprigs of rosemary. I happen to have them right here. We're just gonna throw them in the sauce. Just happen just to have them. Finish right in there like that. All right. All right. Let's give these things a slice and see how they come out. Super, super excited about these. But guys, thank y'all so much for watching. We appreciate you. We love you. If you guys ever have a question for us, feel free to reach out to us. Seven zero six. 922-0890 is the number. We have a bank of people standing by waiting to answer your questions. Uh, now, I wow. know you guys are thinking this is going to be a little rare, but bear with me, right? So we undercook this because we're going to slice nice thick slices. Yum. Right? And then we're going to take it just like this. We're take me to Funky Town, Chef John. Back in the sauce, just like that, guys. Just Man, like that's a that. great way to uh, present this as well. It is. And it's, at this point, it's a one-dish meal, you know? All you need to do is maybe get you a starch, a couple of veg, and you're good to go. All right, shout out Ricky Sapp, uh, Larry Barton, Kevin Sharp, Mark Cothran, Linda Moore, Pat Lopez, Richard Webb, uh, Walt Lanier, Leah Neef, Michael Schaefer, Thank Mark Smith, Rich Sowers, Ron Nowak, Rich Sowers again, <laughs> Curtis Johnson. Thank you guys so much for watching. We, we love y'all. We thank y'all. We do. Uh, Rob Oy, Scott Gage, Christopher Carson. You guys are starting to pop up. Make sure you smash that share button. Because right. again, Chef John's about to spin that wheel of rec tech I and sure we'll give something away. Let me finish slicing this last piece right here, guys. And we're going to slide this back in. That delicious hot sauce, which is going to help cook this steak up and also keep it so tender. How good does that look? Man, that looks absolutely amazing. All right, ready to spin that wheel, yes, buddy? Yes, sir, let's spin that wheel of rectech. Okay, Chef guys, John. so there's only two rules to spinning the wheel of rectech. Two rules, baby. First rule is you have to spin it with the utmost confidence in yourself, mm -hmm. AKA hard as hell. Yes, Second sir. Second rule is you have to spin it to the right. And then we have an unofficial chef's rule. We like to put it on the prize that we're gonna give away. So yes, sir. I'm gonna put it on that new RTB380X. That's right, that's that new grill. All right, Jody, count me down. Three, two, one, spin, spin it. it. All right, round and round it goes. All you guys gotta do is love this video, share this video, and go in the comment section and ask a question, guys. Actually, I wanna know what you're gonna, what steak you're gonna be cooking next. That's it. And you guys could win an awesome Rec Tech apron again. We gotta Jody. test the wheel, man. We gotta test the wheel. I think four it weeks be, in a row. I man. think it needs to be serviced. I but think it needs to be serviced. We'll also put a, a, a Chef John's uh, rub in there too. That soul powder is absolutely delicious. But guys, definitely. So love the video. Share the video, and then go in the comment section. Ask that question. Look at that. That looks so. Looks great, doesn't good, it, buddy? So we'll go ahead and slice into this really quick. Okay. We'll get to tasting. But you guys. I hope you guys are thoroughly entertained Perfectly and medium, educated. Because we let it rest. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Yum. Wow. Go Chef John. Gonna wow, slice so. one just in half for you. Get you a little bit of crab over there. I like it. Thank you, sir. And I'm gonna go, here you can go back a little later, but I'm gonna get some right there. Okay. 
That's a win. It's absolutely delicious. I'll fight you over that, man. Yeah, that's absolutely Wow. Delicious. The steak is cooked to perfection, nice and tender. Got to cut against the ring. Yep. That crab meat, so good. You, get that you crab. can taste the, the lemon zest the in lemon. there. The he just creams it right out. That's a win. Mm -mm -mm. What's it for your grills again? Uh, I cooked mine at uh, 500. 500. And that was at 475. I should have been at 500. Mm. All right, big guy. Mm. Mm. Woo! Get, get your little bite of that. That brandy sauce, y'all. That reminds me of oh, Ray's of brandy gun. sauce when he goes hunting. The son of a gun. Ooh, son. That's delicious. Mm. Creamy. You got a little hit from the peppercorns. You got a little bit of that rosemary flavoring in there. The garlic. And Which then the seasoning spoon. from the bottom of the pan with the heifer dust. So good. I would. I wish I had a straw. <laughs> I just said I wish I had a spoon, but I wish I had a straw. Yeah, that's uh, good. To drink that stuff up. Knocked it out of the park, big guy. Slapped it. Man, shout out to everybody that signed up for Race Club. You should be getting your box very, very soon. Make sure you post about it and tag us in there. We want to see what's in that box. I want to see what's in your box, everybody. <laughs> uh, the Bullseye RT B380 is now $100 off at Rectech.com. Make sure you go and check it out. Sign up for the newsletter so you can be part of Race Club. Yeah. You can find out about Academy, and you can find out about all kinds of cool Rectech stuff. Go to Rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com today. Yeah, and guys, don't forget, call to action. Go to the Rectech Facebook page and follow us. We need the follows. Please, please, please. We don't ever ask you for much. I know I don't, so just do me this favor and go to RecTech's Facebook page, hit the follow button. We really appreciate it. And thanks all of RecTech Nation for making the RecTech app the number yeah. one grilling app in the world, Let's both on go. Android and iOS. Shout out, we've got the best rating. That's what we're talking about. Yep. You guys say it's the best app by rating it the best. That's it. So thank you guys so much. We have the best rated app on iOS and Android. Nobody can touch us on Android because nobody really even yeah. tries to convert it to yeah, Android. Yeah. Um, but iOS, man, thank you guys so much yeah. for rating the app highly. We love you. We thank you. We, we'll take a Google review as well. What, right. what, Daniel? Brock wants a shout out from Utah. Shout Brock. out, Brock. Making up Brock that. and Lehigh, Utah. That's we love right. you, Brock. That's right. We love Rhett. Yep. We love John. Yep. Uh, we love all of the Greg. folks out there. Greg. That's right. Right. We love all, yeah, old Greg. Old Greg. And guys, if you guys are in the Utah Lehigh area, please stop by stop on by the Wednesdays. Store. They do a live demo every Wednesday. We, we cook. cook Wednesday, not just here in Evans, but in Lehigh, Utah as well. Go say hey to Brock for me. Give him a big hug. He likes hugs. He likes little pinches on the butt. So. He likes booty pinches. Yeah, he likes little booty pinches. So, mm. you know, just so you know. All right, everybody. From everybody here at the Worldwide Headquarters of RecTech, God bless you. God, God bless, bless United you. States of America. We'll see you at, at the RecTech. Rec Dude, 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 dude. Hey. It's so good, bro. We really knocked out a park. I feel sorry for that. Dude, that Randy sauce so good, is right? 